Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video with a new topic of mathematics. Uh, today I'll be discussing about uh, circles and a specific topic when uh, where you need to uh, determine the two tangent uh, when you are given an equation of a circle and a point out of the circle. So if you are given two point, uh, if you are if you are given a circle equation and a point how you will calculate the two tangents of it it will look like this and this okay uh, we will be determining these two lines okay so that's it fire so let's get started some of you have complained about the speaking about the sound quality I'll be trying to raise up my voice as much as I can so the given equation of the circle will be the circle's equation this was the circle was x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0 this was my circle's equation and the other point was given minus 5 and 4 so this point is minus 5 and 4 okay now we want to know how can we get the tangents of these two and the the basic concept will be using that the perpendicular distance the perpendicular distance from the center on the tangent is what the radius of the circle so this is the radius and this will be the perpendicular and this will be in, in 90 degrees and also this will be in 90 degrees so we can say this perpendicular distance will be the radius of the the radius of the circle so let's determine the the center and then determine the radius uh, determining the hk and taking here h and k i get hk as 1 and 2 and i won't be teaching you how you you'll be calculating this okay and as for the radius you will get 1 square plus 2 square minus 1 which is 2 so i get the radius 2 and it here 2 okay. i get the radius 2 and the point this one is the 1 and 2 now I'm wiping it out and now I know that this line I, I have to measure this line this line is perpendicular to this distance which is 2 and the center was 1 and 2 so from 1 and 2 the perpendicular of this line perpendicular distance of this line will be 2 so let's get a common formula for this line we know this line will be passing through minus 5 and 4 we know the two lines of it the x and y value but we don't know the tangent of it we know the slope of it sorry we don't know the slope of it so the red line the tangent will be line the tangents slope will be 5 and y minus 4 and x plus 5 i hope you understand this the line passing through minus 5 and 4 the slope of it will be m and we can get a straight line equation from here so it is mx plus 5m and it is y minus 4 then we get mm, mx minus y plus 5m plus 4 equals to 0 okay so this is the line equation 1 so from this line the perpendicular distance will be 2 and we know already from the straight line if we want to measure a distance we have to take root over a square plus b square and here we put a x1 b y1 plus c so i'll be using this formula which you get from the straight line this chapter 
So let's dig in. Using this formula, uh, I know the distance. The distance will be two and one a and these two. Uh, what was my equation? It was mx minus y plus 5m plus 4 equals 0. So let's put it here. We know that the distance will come 2 and a square plus b square. Look, this is a and the uh, b square was 1. So m square plus 1 square and I simply now I have to replace this x and this y from the point where I was calculating from I was calculating from this point to this point's distance so I have to put 1 and 2 in it so if I put m x m into 1 then minus y that was minus 2 and then these were the constants 5m plus 4m okay. let's wipe it down now so from here you will do multiple lines and then you get the then you will get the results you will get two values from it uh, because there is a modular side and also you know from the from the figure that you are you will be in you will end up with getting two straight lines of which will be the tangents with the circle you will end up getting zero and minus three by four so zero and minus three by four are the two slopes of this red lines and it will be passing through minus five and four so as a common equation we can write uh, we can write here for y minus 4 m into x plus 5 okay so put down 2 first if you put 0 taking 0 you will get a 0 this was answer number 1 this was answer it might be this one or this one I don't know and if you take the other one y minus 4 minus 3 by 4 x plus 5 4y minus 16 minus 3a minus 15 you get 3x plus 4y I don't know the exact answers but <laughs> uh, maybe this was correct uh, after that I think so minus 1 and zero maybe I'm not wrong this is answer also answer so from here we end up getting two straight lines these are the, how we did it we measured the slope of it and we calculated the slope of this red lines of the two tangents and then we know that it will pass through minus five and four and this is how we solved the problem it was not that much tough difficult or it was not that much difficult but uh, what I was trying to say that this is the traditional formula for doing this math I want to try something other in the book of Ketabuddin we saw a formula for it and the formula was quite incomplete he stated the formula in his discussions discussions but in his solution the in his solution books he used this traditional formula he didn't use that formula that he mentioned in his that he mentioned in his uh, discussion in the main textbook so if you have this so Ketabuddin said this is x1 this is y1 and this was and this will be given and other was given the s which was the s is the equation equation of the circle he said the formula will be t square equals to s into s1 
So what is t square and is equal to s1? Just dig into it. T square, what he meant was you will be taking, you will be assuming that this point is this point is in the is on the circle and then take a tangent. So if we take this, we get x x1 plus y y1 then 2 2gx this will be g plus x1 f y plus y1 plus c and the square of it will be equal to the actual equation that was given s s was the actual equation y square 2gx 2fy plus c and it was multiplied with what you put this point you satisfy the point within the equation you get x x1 square y1 square 2gx1 to fy1 plus c okay. he stated this formula and from this equation you know this is what I say now from this equation you can see that you will get a one degree equation in the bracket there will be something with x and something with y and the whole square on it and on the other hand you have you you generally you literally have the two degree equation x square y square term and it is it was multiplied with a constant number with a constant suppose this was k okay so you can from here you can see that this you will end up with getting with you will end up with uh, you will end up with a two degree equation and uh, just remember what we measured uh, uh, some time uh, some moments some moments earlier we get we got two straight lines and the uh, those were the two one degree equations and now you have only one answer who are in two degree equation from the two degree equation we don't know or maybe some of you know <laughs> but we don't actually know how to take the two how to get the two straight lines from there let's try to figure it out okay um, again let me uh, write down the circles equation what was given that we did earlier x square y square what was it minus 2x minus 4y plus 1 was equal to 0 and my given point was minus 5 and 4 so let's try it it's going to be a huge calculation i will be skipping three lines and write down the last line because i don't have much time and you also don't have minus 5x plus 4y plus oh here i have a minus you all you all know how to how to calculate this line how to use this line how to compare with it so i am not skipping these things minus 2x so there will be x minus 5 minus 5 minus 2 y plus 4 okay there was a y plus 4 minus 1 oh, square mm. Okay, I made this little mistake. It's difficult to correct now, but let's try it. And again, oh, we write the actual equation was x square plus y square minus 2x minus 4y plus 1. And if you put down this value, that is not to keep me calculate it really quick okay from here you will get 
36 so this is the difficult line to calculate let's try it because I've done a blunder in my calculation my rough calculation I have to solve it truly mm. now let me check again yeah everything is good now so minus 5x plus 4y minus x minus plus 5 minus 2y minus 8 plus 1 x over here I can write 36 x square 36 y square 36 multiplied by 2 mm, it will be 2x 72 multiplied by 2 again and it will be 144y plus 36 ok done let's try to make it simple I'll be using red now so 5 and I have a 5 here which comes minus 6x then I have then I have a y 4y and minus 2y this will come 2y here I have 6 and this will be minus 2 whole square and what I said earlier you will get a 2 degree equation in this side and a 2 degree equation on the other side also 36y squared 72x 144y you might be thinking this is a long process you you literally want to skip it but uh, you will learn uh, the you will learn the actual thing from the last line okay then I have to calculate this one uh, I can write it as uh, see I am multiplying it with minus 1 inside it will come 6x minus 2y plus 2 whole square is there anything wrong mm, no I can do this and it will remain the same 36x square 36y square minus 72x minus 144y plus 36 okay so let's write it up here 36x whole square to the 36x square then 4y square then a 4 then 2ab 2a into b it will be minus 24xy and then you get ab bc 48 minus 81 and CA2 CA it will be 224 plus 24 and on the other side I had already 36x square 36y square minus 72x minus 144y and a 36 so let's do it now hmm. I have these two things cancelled and then I get 36 I get 32 y square I'll be calculating with x y I will get 24 x y and now I have I've already calculated this I'm cutting it down Then if I take the terms with x, I have a minus 72x, I have a minus 24x, minus 72 minus it will be 6, minus it will, it will be minus 96, minus 96x, mm. Mm, you are about the y. 8y going in that side it will be of 
134 136 136 maybe i don't i'm not sure i may i may do some mistakes but uh, but the actual part i have already get it i have already got the actual part actual part which i will need to calculate two straight lines okay 136 y you can just skip those moments y okay i calculated y calculated x so let's put it out here and i have a 4 and i have a 36 as we end up getting 32 okay now now you see the most important part here oh remember one thing you have you have a two degree equation and you know these this this is representing two straight lines uh, this is insane i know this <laughs> uh, this is not insane actually you might have seen in your conics that you can get two straight lines from a two degree equations uh, it was in uh, there was a uh, there was a condition for that the, about the eccentricity so i can write two equations in a two degree equation so let's uh, let me uh, let me uh, get it so suppose the two equations was uh, x plus b1 y plus c and the other one was a2x plus b2y plus c we, are, we have multiplied the two equations and then we have got this okay so think about it in this equation when you multiply it with each other you will get you know the the tangent or the sorry the slope of the of the straight line depends only with with the ratio of uh, a1 and b1 it's literally it's only minus a1 by b1 no you know and for this it's minus a2 by b2 that's it okay so you know you only get the slope from a1 and b1 and from here a1 and b1 a2 and b2 and when you will be multiplying this when a gets with a and b gets with b you can see when these two multiply you get x square when these two multiply you get a x and y and a constant with it or a coefficient with it when you calculate b1 and a2 you get a x y when you calculate um, b1 and b2 you get a y square so for these things a1 a2 you get x square for b1 b2 you get y square for a1 b1 sorry for a1 b2 and b1 a2 you get x y terms so you see the slope only the slope only uh, the slope only uh, what do i say the slope only uh, deals with the x square term y square term and x y so if you omit if you take those as trash you end up with these things that my I, I want to say the two degree things the two degree things only uh, refer you to a slope the two degree things only give a slope so if you take x square y square and x y terms and keep these terms and uh, uh, consider this as trash so you can end up uh, writing it and cross it down and you can say that this slope only re depends on this equation because i don't have any other two degree from here this is a one degree one degree one degree x and y are two degree uh, the, it, this the, its power is two you know it from before a long time uh, so if you want to calculate the slope you want you will need this thing only the two degree equations so from here you know what was the slope the slope was normally for a xy graph the slope was dy by dx or you can say y by x simply y by x so let's get a y by x from here because i know i am getting two slopes from this thing from this equation and i'm only dealing with slopes so if i write here 32 y 
I'm dividing it with an x like this and I can write y to 0 okay now see if you take y as common you get 32 y by x and a constant 24 equals to 0 take another x here it it's, it's not it, it won't uh, it won't vary a lot you you are dividing with an x in the both sides twice 32 y by x plus 24 plus to 0 now you know that y by x or dy by dx is an m this is an m so you can write here m into 32 m plus 24 Okay. Now what you get? Let me wipe from here. Okay. You get the two res two values from here. You will get m equals zero and minus three by four. Remember, you got it a long ago when you when we were calculating the two tangents with the traditional formula and the other formula was this you will omit the uh, single the one degree terms in the equation and you will be only dealing with the two degree terms and then you divide it with an y you get a uh, y by x you get a you get a 24 you get a y by x here and you know that this y is of no use so if i divide it with an x i get another m because i know there will be two slopes there so you get y and you get uh, x by y here and then you get two m's from it. okay and you know now that the slopes will be m will be 0 and minus 3 by 4 and just remember this these two lines these two slopes oh, were passing through minus 5 and 4 what we did earlier again we'll be calculating y minus 4 equals to 0 into x plus 5 this will be an equation and the other equation will be y minus 4 equals to minus 3 by 4 x plus 5 okay we end up with this calculate it yourself so i am saying that okay i shouldn't have marked it y minus 4 equals to 0 into x plus 5 so I am saying that this was a complex technique, complex method, but uh, I was discussing about how you actually, if you get uh, t square s into s1, you can calculate the two tangents from this equation and it's not actually because, I am not teaching it actually because I am trying to uh, derail you from the traditional method, I am trying just to uh, I'm trying to let you think that uh, you might remember in your co conics you will uh, learn it from in your second paper or somebody have also already done this. So in that conics part you you knew that you can get a two degree equation and you if you get a two degree equation it might represent two straight lines and the two straight lines will be calculating with the, in this process and um, so this was the process and that's it i was trying to relate the conic and this formula together i thought this was a very interesting one because i didn't even know how in my in my intermediate life i didn't know how to use this formula and uh, by this formula i didn't know how to use this and then i thought okay then this is not happening i i want to try something uh, some other technique to try uh, to yeah, to calculate the two tangents and i end up with getting this what i i wound up with learning the traditional method and i was satisfied with it and then i sur i surprising i was very surprised because these two uh, because of this method because of this method i i realized that okay geometry isn't that bad and i can solve it with drawing some figures only uh, I don't have to go with the traditional formulas.
So then I revised my straight line chapter again and the 4.1 uh, again in of the circle the 4.1 and then I got okay it was good one it was a good technique I can do many more many I can do many I can solve even many problems so trying to uh, trying to draw the figure and then get a result from that and it was easy and time consuming also. Uh, it wasn't easy but the other methods was easy tr trying with the drawing trying with the drawing formula okay maybe i'm missing it i missed today a little bit but i hope you i have tried my best to learn teach you something and okay that was it thank you for watching uh,